Hi, let's take a look at a simple chord melody for the tune I Will Be Seeing You. We've got um, E flat major 7. The melody is on G on the first string. Your option here is to bar the first four strings and leave the ring finger off. That'll give you the F, which makes it into kind of an E major, E flat major 9. I kind of like that. Go to an F note, second string, sixth fret. Now we're going to go to a G7 bar chord. G7 sharp 5. So the melody is, so we're going to do the E major, uh, E flat, F note, G7 sharp 5, try it again, this is F minor 7 with A flat on top, G note, now keep the G on top of C7, F note, bar for the F, minor 7, open E, back to the F, back to this F minor 7 up here, G, and then C7, F minor 7 again, open, now we're going to go to a B, flat 7, with a flat 5, and then move the second string up, that's just what the melody does. Then the chord is an E flat major. The weird thing is it has an F sharp, which doesn't fit. So, if you can bar these two strings, and it's going to be quite dissonant, but it goes by pretty quick. It's an eighth note. Put the pinky down on the second string, and then put the pinky down on the first string for the next. So the melody is, but we're going to try to do it over the E flat 7. Now, we've got... C minor with E flat as the melody on top. So I'm borrowing the first two strings. I've got the ring finger on the fourth string and I've got the C of course on the sixth. Okay, now we've got F minor seven but with the E flat on the first string. D, D, C, B natural C. Now we're gonna do, it's an F minor nine but with B flat on the bottom. flat 7. Now B flat 7 but with the sharp 5. So play the first string. Play a D note on the first string. Play this E flat 6 to E flat 7 with the G second string being the melody. Back to C on the first string. B flat 7 with the sharp 5. Second string down to C as the top note of a B flat 9. So, you know, you have the, you know, C9, B9. This is a B flat 9, and our melody note is C on the second string. Back to the main thing. flat 7 with the flat 5 and then going to the regular. Here's the nice change. G half diminished. Okay, so what this is, we're barring the first three strings at the 6th fret with the pinky. We've got this on the 4th string. We've got the G on the 6th. Um, yeah, so after that, then we've got A flat on top of Seven flat five G half diminished down here. So let's just try it again. Now keep the G over C seven. Sorry. Go up to an F minor seven. All the way through to the first string. Now second string, you're going to grab the B flat and the A flat, and then you're going to play this G seven. Now you're going to play this G. Okay. Let's go back to here. G half diminished. F minor. G7. 
Now we've got C minor seven with the E flat on top. <laughs> to F9. Melody's on the second string. F octave to G octave. F minor 7. Now you don't have to do this. It's just a wacky, weird thing that I threw in. The next chord is going to be F half, um, F half diminished, F minor 7 flat 5. So you can use the F loquian, and that would be, I'm doing three notes per string, and it's going to be double hammer-ons. And then jump back to the melody, but I'll be seeing you. And then we have, you know, an E flat major, B flat seven sharp five, and then just for something different, I went down to this, which is E flat major seven first inversion, G flat minor six, and then. flat major nine with B flat in the bass. Hope you like the tune. I've always loved it. Rasan Roland Kirk, uh, a multi-instrumentalist um, horn player, has a great version. Um, and you know, it's lots of, I think Bing Crosby and lots of people like that, maybe Frank Sinatra, but it's a really good old tune from 1938.